our next guest is one of our rabbits. Um, this is Lola, and she's approximately five years old, and she is a chinchilla rabbit mix. Um, we don't have a lot of information about her, so you would, um, as with all the animals, you would want to come in and visit with her, but since we don't know as much about her, you would definitely want to make sure that you're putting in the, the time to visit and see if she's um, the type of pet that you want to add to your family. Um, in my interactions with her, I've seen that she really enjoys um, her little, um, we do the little um, mazes in the little houses uh, for the rabbits, and I often see her um, hanging out inside of hers. Um, if you're thinking about adding a rabbit to your home, and I know that I say this a lot, you want to make sure that you're doing the research and that it's something that you can take on. Um, rabbits are not a pet that you should just put in an outside hutch and leave there. Um, the rabbits that we have available for adoption here at Animal Control are meant to be house rabbits and are meant to spend the majority of their days, uh, majority of their time inside with your family. Um, it is important that uh, in warm days, warm weather, the rabbits get outside uh, playtime to run around and be in the grass and get their exercise. Um, but because they are prey animals, that should always be supervised. Um, you want to make sure that um, you're keeping them safe from wild animals that might be outside. Um, even when you're having uh, your rabbit inside, if you have other pets, you want to make sure that you're training those other pets to um, stay away from your rabbit or to uh, be friendly with your rabbit. Make sure that you're keeping them safe at all times. Um, rabbits do have a lot of special needs and require just as much care as um, a dog or a cat would. You want to make sure that you're uh, providing them with their best diet, making sure that they're getting their uh, vegetables, they're getting their leafy greens, uh, lettuce and things like that. They need enrichment just like our dogs and cats do, so they need to have toys to play with. Um, they also uh, leave here spayed and neutered just like all of our cat and dog population. Um, especially once they've been uh, spayed or neutered, it's relatively easy to uh, litter train your rabbits so that they would be using a litter box just like your cat would be. Um, so there's a lot of things that go into having a rabbit in your home. You even have to rabbit proof your house like you would baby proof your house. Um, rabbits like to find little wires and things like that to chew on. Um, so there's just a lot more involved in it than what people might think, especially as we get closer to um, the Easter holiday you really want to think about it before gifting someone a rabbit because it is a big responsibility. You want to make sure that they can properly take care of that um, so that it doesn't end up here with us. Um, we do our best to provide the best care for all of our animals um, and to find them the best homes, but we would much rather see that the animals are in loving homes to start with and don't have to end up here in our shelter. So. Um, again, do your research. A great resource is going to be uh, the House Rabbit Society. We use a lot of their information here with, um, so that we are aware of what's going on and we can dispense that to you. But they're a great resource for you to look into on your own.